Hello viewers, today's topic is Composite Transformation. Two successive transformations are called composite transformations. First we get the translation. Two successive translations are called composite translation. Suppose this is the point and translation factor is Tx1 and next point is Tx2. These are the composite transformation. Two successive transformation. For single transformation we get V dash equals to T into P. Okay. What we get? X Y 1 equals to 1 0 Tx 0 1 Ty 0 0 1 into P. P is X Y and 1. When we take the composite transformation or translation, we can write P dash equals to T1 and T2 into P or we can write x dash y dash 1 equals to 1 0 tx1 0 1 ty1 0 0 1 ok now t2 is 1 0 tx2 0 1 ty2 0 0 1 and x y 1 Okay, we multiply these two matrix right to left. We get 1 0 tx1 0 1 ty1 0 0 1. And when we multiply this x plus 0 plus tx2, and this is 0 y plus ty2 and 1. Again this matrix multiplied by this. So what we get? We get x dash y dash 1 equals to this multiplied by this plus this plus this. So what we get? x plus tx1 plus tx2 y plus ty1 plus ty2 and 1 what we observe two composite translation are additive ok this is the composite translation Next we take scaling. Two successive scaling are composite scalings. We write V dash equals to S into P or X dash Y dash 1 equals to S X 0 0 0 sy 0 0 0 1 into x y 1 when we take the composite scaling we can write s1 s2 into p or x dash y dash 1 equals to s x1 0 0 0 s y 1 0 0 0 1 into s x 2 0 0 0 s y 2 0 and 0 0 1 and multiplied by x y and 1 when we 
multiply this matrix to this, what we get? As x1 0 0 0 s y1 0 and 0 0 1 multiplied by this x into s x2 and y into s y2 and 1. Okay. Again this matrix multiplied by this what we get? x dash y dash 1 equals to s into s x 1 into s x 2 and y into s y 1 into s y 2 and 1. What we observe? Two successive scalings are multiplicative. We get S1 and this is X2. Two successive scaling are multiplicative. Okay. Third we take the rotation. Rotation is P dash equals to R into P or we can say X dash Y dash 1 equals to cos theta minus sin theta 0 sin theta cos theta 0 and 0 0 1 into X Y 1. If we take two successive rotation, we can write R1, R2 and P. Okay. Then X dash, Y dash, 1 will be cos theta 1 minus sin theta 1, sin theta 1, cos theta 1, 0, 0, 0. 0, 0, 1 multiplied by R2 cos theta 2 minus sin theta 2 0 sin theta 2 cos theta 2 0 and 0, 0, 1 and multiplied by x, y and 1. Okay. Now when we multiply First, these two matrix, we get x dash, y dash, 1 would be equals to cos theta 1 minus sin theta 1, 0, sin theta 1, cos theta 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. And what we get? x into cos theta 2 minus y into sin theta 2 and this one would be 0 and again second term y sin theta 2 sorry x sin theta 2 plus y cos theta 2 Okay, and this one would be as it is. Now again we multiply these two matrices. What we get? X dash Y dash 1 would be equals to this term, this whole term multiplied by this. Cos theta 1 multiplied by x cos theta 2 minus y sin theta 2 okay and plus plus this term this whole term multiplied by this this whole term multiplied by this then we get minus sin 
theta 1 multiplied by x sin theta 2 plus y cos theta 2. Okay. Again, second term, this whole term multiplied by sin theta 1. We get sin theta 1 multiplied by x cos theta 2 minus y sin theta 2 plus this term multiplied by this cos theta 1 multiplied by x sin theta 2 plus y cos theta 2 ok and third is last is 1 when we multiply and Keep the x term with together, we get finally x dash y dash 1 would be equals to cos theta minus sin, sorry, cos theta 1 plus theta 2 minus sin theta 1 plus theta 2 again sin theta 1 plus theta 2 cos theta 1 plus theta 2 what we observe two successive two successive rotations are additive this is about rotation okay thank you very much